As you guys know, more than one in four Texas women is uninsured. Um, I am one of them. My name is Amy Camp. Uh, without health insurance, it is very difficult to access health care, and the, barrier, the barriers can seem insurmountable. It can be all too easy to simply put off a regular exam or checkup. However, thanks to Planned Parenthood, I didn't have to. Three years ago, after a well woman exam at Planned Parenthood in Austin, I found out that I had precancerous cells in my cervix, cells that if undiagnosed and left untreated could lead to cervical cancer. I was able to have those precancerous cells treated and was able to continue to get regular checkups to ensure that I'm in the best position to make sure that I don't develop cervical cancer in the future. Not all Texas women are as fortunate as I was. Cervical cancer is one of the most preventable cancers but without a screening, it's impossible to know whether or not you have cervical cancer or the symptoms that cause it until it's too late. Texas has one of the highest cervical cancer rates in the nation. That statistic alone should tell you a lot about the dismal state of women's health care in Texas. While I was fortunate enough to have precancerous cells detected and treated early, I'm currently unable to get insurance due to the current pre-existing condition policies. It's sad when taking care of yourself and getting the care you need can actually become a barrier to accessing health care. Thanks to Obamacare, that will no longer be the case. Um, as many as 10 million non-elderly Texans have some types of pre-existing health condition. And beginning in 2014, health insurers will no longer be able to charge more or deny coverage to anyone because of a pre-existing condition. The political fights right now are getting all the attention. But the big story of the Affordable Care Act should be the type that doesn't grab headlines. More Texans, such as myself, will have access to the care we need. 